Hmm, you know what I've been wondering lately? No, what you've been wondering about? What I've been wondering about is, how does the magic eraser work? This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM, that's me. And I am here to walk you through the Magic Eraser settings in Sketchable app. Let's go. Let's get started by opening our Sketchable app, available on all Windows 10 devices from the Microsoft Store. As you can see, we're back in the drawing that I had before. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Magic Eraser sitting right here on the left hand side. That tool is a little bit of a mystery to me because when I draw, I like to use layers. Right, so when I do my colors, like here's the color layer, and I turn it off and on, if I need to edit something inside the color layer, I can either use my eraser to erase, use uh, my blend modes, and lock in my transparency to make adjustments, or of course, you know, we got the lasso tool in case I want to make some edits around here. Let's go ahead and, you know, like, and so if I wanted to make a color and so on and so forth, boom, 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 there you go. Deselect, there it is, right? But when it comes to the magic eraser, I really never had the chance to play with this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Of course, most uh, tools will have settings right available to them when you click or double click the tool. So here we see some tolerance settings, opacity settings. Mm, so if I wanted to like, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that it, if I wanted to erase something, it doesn't erase it as uh, uh, as much. There's a little bit of transparency left, and a tolerance, opacity tolerance. Huh? Interesting. So let's take a look at what we have now. Let's go like this. Oh, look at that! It grabbed all the brown and it made it lighter. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this something different. So opacity tolerance. So opacity. What if? I want it to be real opacity and small tolerance. So now I do know that the tolerance means that um, the lower the number, then it only the t the magic eraser is going to only stick with um, the pixels that are closest to that color. So here we go. Boom! <gasps> Look at that. And so it really only grabbed that that hard brown. So let's go ahead and undo. Now let's do this again. So that's the tolerance. The opacity, it took out all, almost all of it. So if we do a low opacity, let's try that. Boom, so now it left some of the color as the, t the opacity was low. And then opacity tolerance, it combines both the opacity and tolerance filters to the flood fill. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let me go low and high opacity and low tolerance, and let me bring this back. Here we go, boom, let's grab this one. Oh, look at that, nice, nice, nice. Huh, so if I wanna just take out those colors, there it is, there it is. Look at that, I can recolor this all over again. Let's go back, ooh, this is going crazy now, I'm going crazy, fix it. There we go, here we go, here we go. Nice, now, sample all layers, it said, looks at all the layers, but only affects the current selected layer for fill. So let me see. Let me go ahead. Opacity tolerance. Opacity low. Tolerance a little high. Boom, boom, boom. We got that. We got our settings that we want. Oh, oh something happened. Let's see. Okay, okay. Oh, so now it's kind of stopping the selection of the magic eraser based on the lines. <gasps> So that stops right there. That's good. Stop. It stops it right here in these lines. Oh man, I got a new friend now. Okay, it's gonna be time to play around with these settings and um, in this uh, magic eraser setting so that I can then edit some of my colors and um, <laughs> no opacity. What? This is cool. So then if I did the yellow, Boom, it stops this yellow right here. And and it would not, it, this, uh, it, it, this yellow is stopped the 
the magic eraser is stopped because of the lines that are here because it's using all the layers as a guide what okay that's cool we're gonna play with you we're gonna have some fun we're gonna uh oh then i could actually okay okay so let's see how could i do this opacity let's uh take up the opacity opacity tolerance and i can go like this look at that oh yes i can add a whole nother effect to my colors here look at that that kind of looks cool too also oh, yes huh maybe that's too dark or too much opacity all right let's dark do it again let me see right there let's turn down the opacity so it's subtle Ooh. There we go. gotta be careful i think i need to change my settings stylus no yeah 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 paint with the stylus so what's happening here i don't know let's try this boom 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 look at that yes what what and the reality is that this color lives on its own layer and the lines that i'm using as a guide live in a whole nother layer wow mm. nice the magic eraser is an amazing tool that i had never looked at that's crazy okay okay i'm gonna play with this some more you go ahead and try it yourself and let me know what you think about it all right this is digital drawing and sketchable with dtm and i hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity please like share and subscribe for more sketchable insights until next time <laughs>